Oh, hey, greetings. Welcome back. It's kind of been a long time since we have seen each other, right? Yeah, I guess so. I know you're probably bored at home, but you know, on Minecraft, there is a lot of possibilities, mostly on creative. So if you're bored, don't worry. I will teach you the best, but the best things you can do on Minecraft creative mode. So you can have a blast at home when we just wait this quarantine to go away and while we wait to go back to school, right? Yeah, back to school sounds boring. Now, without further ado, let's get to the action. Before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out to Tricky. I'm going to start doing shout outs on my channel. If you want to be the next person to get a shout out, the only thing that you have to do is to subscribe to my channel with notifications or get a friend or a family member to subscribe to my channel with notifications. Then go to my latest video and comment down below, I subscribe or a family or friend subscribe and you will be the next person to get a shout out on my videos. But for now, Tricky, congratulations for getting the shout out. Now let's get to the video. <laughs> Off, we have nothing else than than the mirror house. Yeah, I know it's not really a mirror house, but it's a good glass house. So let me tell you how this works. Even though it's just glass, it's kind of, it's still kind of confusing. Completed it. If you're like on creative mode, you can build this. Then you can switch on survival and get your friends to play this. It's kind of confusing. And it's just really fun. Now we know there's some of y'all that really just don't have friends, you know, to play with on Minecraft. So if you want to have this kind of fun, just do this. First off, just block this with cobblestone. Put a villager right there, and just put a pillager. And now let's see if he's going to get a make it, which I don't think so, but yeah. The purpose of this is just to see how far the villager makes it. As you can see, he's making it far. He didn't make it far, and if you want at least like a villager to make it, then you can add s Oops, wait. No. You can add more villagers. And then, um, you can put a pillager, and then you can kill the other pillager. So you can see they're all running around. The baby, still in its place. But we do have some that are making it far. Well, not that far, but the baby is kind of smart, just so you know. Also, this one right here. The pillager is still going. And then, yeah. You can, of course, add more if you want. But, yeah, it's still a kind of fun. Or, you know, just you with your friends. So, yeah, I really encourage you to do something like this. A glass mirror or a glass labyrinth is really good. Plus, it's fun. It's a, it's kind of fun too, cause then after a few days, you just forgot what you built. It's technically like a huge new adventure. Which let me kill you. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, I think I think I just got confused here. Is it? No. No, we made it. Oh, he was really close. But he really didn't make it. But, you know, that's kind of fun more as a, a multiplayer. But now let's get to the, like, the real action. And this following thing is going to be really fun. Okay, so our number two creative adventure is really high. And yeah, you might be asking what the heck is that? Well, it's really not that confusing to explain. 
this might look just like a checkers board, but I call this raining villagers. Yep, that's right. So this is how you just do it. Oops, wait. Never mind. I always confuse villagers with pillagers. Okay, never mind. So sorry for the inconvenience. Well, let's start with it. As I said, you start with villagers, right? These nice and innocent people that are just gonna get into a big strategy in a second. Actually, I kind of feel bad for the babies though. But yeah, this is how it works. So, start with a lot of villagers. But like, when I say a lot, I say a lot. And they're just gonna start falling down. And that's where the really the real rain starts. So yeah, just put a bunch of villagers. Again, there's not multiplayer, there's more for if you're just alone. And then just put one, two, one, two, three, go down and watch the villagers rain. How cool is that, huh? It's just raining villagers. Literally raining villagers. Isn't that cool? Well, for me, it really is, because I guess the villagers. Yeah, the villagers just die. But that's why we have more. Surely not a big worry. There's always villagers and pillagers. And just look at the beauty of rain. And just so you know, you can also find something cool about this, which, just so you know, a little fun fact, villagers actually die when they don't even touch the floor. So like, they literally fall, like this, and they just die, like that, see? They don't even fall on the ground, so, um, you're welcome for that fun fact that I just really just noticed. And I guess there's still a few some above. Yep. And yeah, you can just throw them up too. If you want. Like that. Or it just doesn't have to be villagers. And can be something like... If you want to be a little bit more courteous with pillagers. It can be like... Pillagers and... You know... You can put the pillagers and then you can put like an iron golem or something like that. But yeah. That is the raining villagers part. Now let's go to the last, final, and the most amazing part of this video. Alright, the most intense, dangerous, and interesting part of the video may look like it, it was that plate over there, but no, that's actually the raining villagers thing. It's that. The TNT tower, or castle, well, it's tower, because it does look like more of like a tower but yeah let's just let's just take a little peek inside before uh, I crash my computer I crash my PS my PlayStation or you know um, Minecraft actually wait this was missing it. okay so let's start with you know these are the doors those are the walls I'll say these are like some kinds of guards right which have TNT heads and arms and feet and of course it outstretches all the way to the TNT stop top now again as I said most interesting part getting my flint and steel ready and let's start from the toppest part I'm nervous I'm excited and this is scary in three two one Go. Alright guys, get ready for destruction. Okay, this is crashing my computer. Oh. Okay, let's crash it. And here we go. Actually, that was quite a lot. Kind of was expecting to destroy the village, but 
Just so you know, it kind of destroyed more than half of the village. But don't worry. I still have destroying the village plan. Because I like destruction. I mean, who doesn't like destruction? Everybody likes destruction, right? Right? Actually, this is quite laggy now, but... You know, when it's for like some kind of this, right? It's always worth it. It's worth it doing something like this. And it's worth it trapping you like in some kind of like box. Actually, no. Wait, can I trap you in? Yes, I can. Let's just finish through the last parts of the village and let's make this explode because I'm kind of mad I was hoping this village would actually explode because I like destruction and I mostly like destruction of villages and you know PUIs like like um pillager houses I mean pillager bases um villages and other things woodland mansions and you know when it's creative you got the power right i mean that's minecraft what's all about destruction well in my own words it's destruction but yeah sorry if this actually hurts you when you like villages i know that um they are really cool villagers are awesome but you know sometimes they just gotta go right like like now I'm sorry villagers you were awesome yeah that's one still need you to explode and I need you to explode I'm sorry I'm sorry, I had to trap you. So sorry. And this is where it all's coming from. Oh shoot. Alright. Okay, this is really laggy. But way better. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoy this video because this took me quite a long time to build make sure you subs oh wait 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 i can't say that yet we're missing you all right is that it anymore all right i think that's it again thank you oh what is that Oh, never mind. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I can do um, uh, creative things number two. If y'all would like. Um, I really do kind of like doing this kind of creative stuff. There's some of my favorite things to do. Mostly like when I'm just in my free time or when I get really bored but again I still have a bunch of my ideas in my head that I do I could do like an episode 10 but still just comment down below what you really want and we will see you next time so goodbye oh goodbye <laughs>